This is uh, a photograph of my father. And in the back it says Beirut, September 1942. I was born in Baghdad, Iraq in April of 1948. My parents, grandparents, and all my ancestors were born in and around uh, Baghdad, Iraq, or the various towns or vicinities within Iraq. Now imagine we were there for 2,600 years. So the Jewish population at the time had, had a long history. So we had a certain amount of wealth, but we were restricted from being among the powerful and super wealthy. For example, Jews could not buy land around the river, which my father wanted to do. It was a class system in that respect, and a lot of it had to do with the concept of dimmihood and, and dimmies, essentially relegated to second-class citizens. The real point where Jews suddenly realized they had no place in Iraq any longer was in 1941. The Farhut happened, and they say about 180 people died and uh, a few thousand got injured. It was really more like about six or 800 people died because many of them were buried into nondescript burials. I was walking down the street and some young boy who must have been about a year or two older said, are you a Jew? And I was terrified. It was clearly understood that there was tension and I started to run away and he threw a stick with a nail in it that hit me in the head. I got bloodied and ran home into my mother's arms. Between 1950 and 1952, 90% of the Jewish population in Iraq had left. They allowed the Jews to leave, provided they gave up their citizenships and all of their belongings. They left literally with nothing. A, a suitcase, a couple of hundred dollars, and that's it. They gave up everything. You know, why does any human being want to tell their story? Because they want to be, they are a witness, and we want to be witnessed. We want to, humanity to be aware that we existed. When my generation passes away, I will be the last evidence of our existence, the last direct personal evidence. And if I don't tell my story, it will be lost forever. I am Yusuf Salim Dahoud Abraham Nahon Shamash. In America, Joseph Shamash, and we were refugees.